course, it is the first game with Tori Lovello as manager of the Arizona Diamondbacks. I'm alongside his wife, Kristen. And Kristen, I know his mom, Grace, is here, his sister, Linda, son, Connor, among about 70 family and friends. What were his nerves like today? Um, well, he got to the field super early. He was here at 6 in the morning, ready to go, prepping, but he was taking it slowly. He's really good at putting it together and putting his thoughts together, but he's nervous because everybody's here more so than this because he knows he's prepared and ready to win. Yeah, no question that, you know, he said he'd be emotional today knowing that family and friends are here and also with the loss of his father back in January. Oh, look it. That's not fair that you asked me. Yes, unfortunately, his dad passed away in January, and he was around to know that Tori got the job, so that was very fun and exciting for us. And he's just carrying a heavy heart, but his dad's here with him, and family's here, and we all have Sam in our minds today. So He appreciates the support. I know that. He mentioned it a number of times to the media. I do know that everyone in Section 132 over there, they came in on a party bus, and you guys set that up for them, right? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, everybody came in from out of town. We have people in six from six different states here. So we decided to make it a big special moment for them. And they came on a bus, had a video, and all piled in together. So and we're going to party after the game at our house. So we're looking for a win today. Now, one last thing for you. I mean, it, it's been your lives, baseball. And what does it mean to see him managing at this point, reaching this point in his career? Um, it's absolutely wonderful. And it means a lot because we have sat here and we've been the lowest level to the highest level. And for him to have a dream and to be able to reach it and achieve it is pretty special. So it means a lot for us. Kristen, thanks for the time. Thank you. Stephen Bob.